girl be Her eyes are open wide And yet she's in a up on people from behind. Off you go. Mm, I just don't understand you. Do you want me to come or go? When you're called, you should come. Mm. And when someone sends you somewhere, you should go. Like right now, your mother would like to have the biscuits. Oh. Don't be sulky. Wait here, Alice, and I'll fetch them. Well, take your time. Here, please don't drop the teapot this time. Uh. She wants to introduce me again. No one will notice. <laughs> if only I knew who'd got the Queen of Hearts. That's something I'd like to know as well. Have I ever told you about my great card playing experiences in all those years I spent in the colonies? One uh, evening, we were looking again. for the Queen of Hearts. Oh. Mm. I guarantee you won't believe it. One of the chaps actually hit the card up his sleeve. I wondered why it had to be the Queen of Hearts of all cards. He could just have easily have hidden the Ace of Spades. But mm. no, the Queen of Hearts. Rain is coming. <laughs> and then when we asked him why specifically the Queen of Hearts, he said... Because she's the prettiest. I hope you all remember meeting my youngest daughter, Alice. She's brought us some refreshment and high time too. Yes, of course we remember you, dear. You've grown a lot bigger. And a lot prettier too. You remind me very much of the Princess of Ranchipur. Even though she had dark hair and brown eyes, whereas you have blonde with blue eyes. But you both had the same gracious bearing. And a thunderstorm. In Ranchipur, it used to rain so heavily that we had to replace the cars with boats to get anywhere. I'm afraid I'll have to interrupt the game. We'd better go inside, ladies and gentlemen. Please, would you follow me to the drawing room? Of course, my dear. Benny Bunny! I naturally didn't row the boat myself. There were plenty of servants for that. No peace and after you. In Ranchipur, the storms are far worse. One goes by boat. <laughs> oh! No! Oh! I've a nasty feeling the boat is overloaded. It is. There's one too many. That cat. Oh. Why on earth me? What about the eagle, huh? Because you're the heaviest. Because you're the heaviest! And because you're a cat, and I happen, just happen to detest cats. Have I ever laid one finger on you? You can't stand me? Well then, nor me you. We're all in the same boat. Stop quarrelling. Because if we ever want to set foot on land again, we'll have to stick together or stay here and grow mouldy. We'll have to stick together or stay here and get mouldy. Don't you ever say anything for yourself. This constant imitation is enough to make me fly off. Mm. Not a good idea. Fly off and the boat will be lighter. Shut your beak, you stupid flat-footed creature. Well, that made a very practical 
trouble sometimes. I knew we should have thrown you overboard. I've just realised that I'm rather hungry. What do you mean? Quiet. Oh, the boot. Oh, dear. Farewell, dear boot. You were our last hope. Ah, the water's quite shallow. Look, it's only ankle deep. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, isn't it lovely here? But I really don't know where we've landed. All I know is I'm miserable. <laughs> Have you got a cold? No, not yet, but I... I soon will. The water's clogged my feathers. Not mine. Mine are waterproof. Pity that they're so ugly as well. Oh, stop insulting the duck. I feel terrible, like a black chicken. Now stop making such a fuss. A bit of water never hurt anyone. No, that's not quite true. Water hurts anything that can't swim and falls in. I know, friends. I've got the answer. I know how we can get dry very, very quickly. I'm going to tell you a long, long story. I can't think of a longer story than the one I'm going to tell you now. Oh, bless you. Quiet. How can I help it if I'm suddenly overcome by a great big sneeze? One can suppress it. No. Right, then I shall start. I would, however, like you all to sit down comfortably, my friends. Oh, he makes such a production. All right, then, it's let's so sit down. With the eye dry, but I don't dead. believe I'll get dry. The last story he told, my eyes were quite damp from the yawning. Mm. I can't keep my eyes open. I'll be asleep before he starts. William I was also called William the Conqueror, and he was ruler of Normandy. By 1066, William also ruled the whole of England. The Normans were an overwhelming force for the Anglo-Saxons. The Norman feudal system was introduced, and the king became master of all the land. The strong Norman monarchy prevented William... Have you recently come to this island? Huh? Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, no. We were stranded here, our boat, or rather our cup, capsized. It wasn't a precious teacup, was it? Yes, but somehow I think at such a moment it really doesn't matter whether it's a tea or coffee cup. Not when one's a tea drinker. <laughs> mm. Yes, I thought as much you soaked to the skin. I can shake my feathers. I can shake my feathers. With a bit of courage, it's possible to solve any such trying and harassing situation in a charming and simple manner. Do you understand what he means? No, not a word. But I have a feeling he wants to make a suggestion. Yes, you're right. I suggest you organise a caucus race. Oh, yes, let's. Oh, yes, let's. <laughs> a very good idea. Come on, let's do it. But does anyone, anyone know what a caucus, caucus race is? is? I've never heard of it. No, oh, but that shouldn't cause a problem. That which one hasn't done and doesn't know, one can always learn. And the best way to learn something is simply to do it. <laughs> I'll give you a count of three. Right. One, two... Just a moment, Dodo. You haven't yet explained what a caucus race is. Hmm? Hmm. You simply have to run in a circle. Oh, is that all? Does it have to be a big or a very small circle? It just has to be round. Mm-hmm. The size doesn't matter. Well then, one, two and two and a half and two Stop. and three quarters. Oh. I thought you were counting from one to three. So did I. But then I thought I'd make the race far more exciting by counting in another way. Now, if I'd been allowed to finish my story about William the Conqueror, we would have all been dry ages ago. Now, please be quiet. Take your places. Right. 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 One and two and three. Oh, 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 oh. The Queen of Hearts. The Queen of Hearts.
Land in sight. Drop the anchor. Lift off. <laughs> Did you request permission for this gathering? This is no gathering, Your Majesty. It's a caucus race. And why then, may I ask, did no one invite me to this caucus race? We had no idea that Your Majesty was partial to caucus races. I love caucus races, although I don't know them. We were going to give you a surprise. What for? The Dodo organized this caucus race for you, especially as an unbirthday present. What a pity she gave it away. <laughs> what is it? Never heard of that before. Oh, dear. Nor have I, I'm afraid. <coughs> a year has 365 days. 365 days on which one could have a birthday. But it doesn't work like that. We only have one birthday, of course. And on 364 days, we have no birthdays. Those are the unbirthday days. He's going to talk himself to death one day, you'll see. And whoever said that we should only celebrate birthdays? One would have far more fun if we celebrated unbirthdays. That must be the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. That has to be quite the best thing I've heard in my life. I shall make use of this opportunity and celebrate my first non-birthday today. Prepare to celebrate! Your Majesty, the tent is pitched. Very good. Ah, ooh, ah, ooh, look here. We'll do that one more time and it'll be your last because you'll be a head shorter. But watch out. Fetch me my best cannon and then I can give the starting signal for the caucus race. Your Majesty, have we fetched your best cannon? Yes, I only wish it had been brought to a halt more carefully. Oh, oh! Now, why did no one tell us there was a party on? You know how much we love parties. Thank you, report. The White King and Queen have just made their appearance, Your Majesty. I can see that, you idiot. No, we are not having a party, my dear. This is a caucus race. Pity they're not playing croquet. I'm not very good at running. Oh. Croquet is far healthier than running. And one perspires a lot less. At our age, we have to watch that. Oh, there was never any question of our running. That's marvellous. I'd rather wait for the croquet afterwards. Ah, ah, what a lovely seat. I'll have the best view of all from up oh. here. <laughs> On your marks, get set, and... Your Majesty. What is it? <coughs> I've got an announcement to make. It just so happens that there is no longer any reason for having this caucus race. You must be joking. No, I mean it, Your Majesty. We were only going to run to get dry. <coughs> uh, soldiers? Make him a head shorter. Oh, no, no, I'd rather you didn't. I'd love to run. And so would I. If, if your majesty, majesty wishes, wishes I'll, I'll run. run. And what's all this about? Uh -huh. oh. You're just in time for the caucus race. Would you like to run in it? We'll tell you that once we know the prize. There isn't a prize. There has to be, or else there can't be a race. I've always got a prize when I've won. Always? Yes, we are very sporty. Hep hop. 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 Hep. You see, we don't exaggerate. We're so sporty that we always win. However, unless there is a prize, we cannot make our talent available. Very well. If that's the case, then we'd better find a prize. How about some sweets? I've got some in my pockets. I hope that'll be good enough for you. Here. I'd love one. 
I have one for Silas. And me too. Help yourselves, but only one each. Look, there's no prize left for poor Alice. Then we cannot run. Alice absolutely has to have a prize. <laughs> Tell me, do you want me to lose my patience? How long do I have to wait until you're ready? I agree. Bravo! <laughs> Look carefully. Perhaps there's still one at the bottom. How about that as a prize? May I have a closer look? Yes, yeah, a good prize. Good for a girl at any rate. I hereby present you with this prize as winner of the caucus race. You participated very well in the race and were very sporty. Why is the prize being awarded now? I thought one had to run before one won. At least that's what I've always been told up till now. Ah, but Your Majesty, this is a caucus race. I've an nasty suspicion something fishy is going on. In caucus races? Oh, one always hands out the prize before the race. That's right. Come on, we'll explain it. In caucus, everything is always upside down. The caucus runners never ever show a frown. The prize is always handed out before the race. So at the end, there's no one with a sad long face. A ring, a ring, a ring, a race is always fun. The ring, a ring, a race is high up in the sun. In caucus, everything is always upside down. I command you to stop joining in with this nonsense. Mm, what a pity that she jumped off. I wanted to blow her into the air. Oh. I would quite happily have done it. Ignite the cannon! What did she say? To me, it sounded like off. Do you think that was the starting signal? Could well have been. Well, off we go. Goodbye! I don't think too much of all this running. Croquet is far kinder on the nerves. I find it all quite fun. But it would be even better if they organised a croquet game too. Here they come, Your Majesty. The first lap's completed. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, they can run themselves into the ground. Oh. Little Alice is in the lead. She's in top form. All those weeks of jolly hard training are really paying off. I don't need a commentator. I can see very well for myself. Hmm, a cat. I recognize that cat. But of course I do. That's my cat. Wait, Rascal! Oh, oh. Here, Chico! What a race! I can't quite believe my eyes. The Queen of Hearts has now joined the runners. The race is really heating up. What was that? Don't take it so personally, Your Majesty. It's not so easy nowadays to find good jesters like me for your evening oh, entertainment. I must talk to my husband. I can't put up with you in my castle for one more day. Oh. 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 My feet are feeling like sacks of potatoes. Why did I put on such small shoes? Oh. Oh. If Your Majesty so wishes, the caucus race can now be ended. 
I do. Her Majesty is becoming bored. Stop now. So, who won? Everyone won. Tell me immediately who lost, and I'll make him a head shorter. No one lost, Your Majesty. If everyone won, there can't be a loser. Can't I make anyone a head shorter? Do you mean to say I've been wasting my time, eh? Even croquet would have been more exciting. What was that? Are we going to play croquet? Hooray, Paul! Can't help oh. it! We're playing croquet! Oh. already all left. I wish for once in your life you'd learn to hurry up. Mm, you're probably right, my love. Hey, tell me, is the coast clear? Has she finally left? My hair stands on end when I see her. No one's here now apart from us. You lucky devil. The Queen of Hearts had completely forgotten she wanted to catch you again. Mm -hmm. I'm a lucky devil too. <laughs> I won the caucus race and my dress is dry again. Alice. Yes? You should be upstairs getting changed instead of standing there dreaming. Was I dreaming? <laughs> of course you were a daydreamer. Here, dear, and now go upstairs. Two sweets, that's wonderful. The others will really be envious. They only got one each. What others? Oh, everyone that ran the race. In a caucus race, everyone wins. Didn't you know? Of course not. What if I did she dream this time? Alice? Alice? Have you finally changed into something dry? Yes, Mummy. In the next episode, you'll find out what happens to Alice in the house of the White Rabbit. For no sooner has she dreamed her way into Wonderland than something very strange occurs. She gets bigger and bigger. She grows so big that she can hardly turn around. And the Queen of Hearts is not pleased, as you can imagine, because this all happens in the White Rabbit's house. And he's so worried about his house that he's unable to tell the Queen the time. All he can think about is how to save his house from Alice, who just carries on growing. But the most difficult situations often have the most simple solutions, as you will see in the next episode. Girl B, her eyes are open wide, and yet she's in a daydream that's better than real life.